We've been asked by some of our friends and subscribers if we'd make these series of videos. They're in addition to our normal stuff, but we think you'll find them really useful. Wouldn't it be great if you never had to pay another electrician to fix your boat, if you could do all the work yourself? Well, by the end of this video, you will know what volts, watts and amps are. You will understand how they relate to each other and you will do your first electrical calculation. Hopefully, in a couple of weeks time, you'll be able to draw circuit diagrams like this and save yourself thousands of pounds. We're going to explain things carefully and slowly in terms that you understand. Things that are familiar to you. Let's get started. So your boat systems work from a battery or series of batteries. You can think of these as a water tower. The water tower has a positive at the top and a negative at the bottom and the current flows from the battery down to ground or earth. The pressure in the water from the water tower is equal to volts. The same thing, same principle applies. So always think of volts as pressure. Now when it comes to amps, amps are like the flow of the water. The bigger the pipe, the more flow you get. Amps are the muscle behind things. The bigger the pipes, the more muscle, the more flow. So imagine you were trying to feed lots of appliances from a small pipe. Well, you'd be restricted, wouldn't you, in flow. There's not a big enough pipe to make all these appliances work. However, if you make the pipe bigger, you allow more flow. So all the appliances will work. Well those pipes are like cables. The bigger they are, the more flow, or the more amps they can carry. Bigger pipes or cables equals more flow, more amps available. So let's look at watts. Gallons or litres used from your water tank is the same as watts consumed. Think as watts as a measurement of work done, or the number of gallons of lit or litres used. Watts is the same as work or power used. Now a thousand watts is referred to as a kilowatt or one kW. So let's summarise what we know so far. Volts is a measurement of pressure. Amps is a measurement of flow. Watts is a measurement of work or power. Higher voltage is the same as more pressure. Bigger cables, more flow or more amps. More flow equals more work done, or more watts. Our water tower is like a battery. It needs charging or filling up occasionally. It can be used quickly by taking more amps out, or it can be used slowly by using the amps slowly, taking less out. So, how much water is in my tank? Or, how much power is in my battery? Same difference. So batteries are generally rated in amp hours. Let's say you have a battery that when fully charged is rated 150 amp hours. Well, theoretically, it should be able to provide you with 150 amps for one hour, or 75 amps for two hours, or 10 amps for 15 hours, in theory. But that doesn't really give us a well, an idea of how much energy is in the battery. So there's a formula that we use. Let's take a 12 volt battery. There is a direct link between amps, volts and watts. Volts times amps gives you watts. Watts divided by amps gives you volts. Amps times volts gives you watts. So this is an electrical formula. If we know any two of the three, we can calculate what the third is. Simple maths. So we can use this calculation to tell us how much water is in the tank or how much energy or power there is in our battery. So this diagram is a power triangle. You simply have to cover up one of the three in order to find the other two. Here's an example. If we cover up volts, we simply have to divide watts by amps to give us the answer. In volts, of course. So let's go back to our question. How much power is in our battery? Let's take our 12 volt battery again. 
12 volts times 150 amps for one hour equals 1800 watts or watt hours. So we tend to rate boat batteries in watt hours and there's another reason for that which I'll go into later. Because the things we use on a boat tend to use power rated in watts or watt hours, it's much easier to work in watt hours. Therefore, a light bulb of 10 watts uses 10 watt hours at 12 volts. So you can pause the video here and look at the top left hand side before answering this question. So in our fully charged 150 amp hour battery of 12 volts, how long would a 10 watt bulb burn for or be a light for? Well we've already established that there are 1800 watt hours in our battery. So 1800 divided by 10 equals 180 hours. Well done, you've just done your first electrical calculations. If you're not quite sure, go back through the video and just refresh yourself. You'll get it. So let's summarise. Watts, volts and amps are mathematically interrelated. Watts are power or power used. Volts are like pressure and amps are flow. So the idea of these videos is to help you to learn basic steps one at a time and only progress when you're confident. Next time we're going to look at these things. Why you can't get all the power from your battery. Is 24 volts the same? Ohms. What are they? How to use ohms to fault find. And we're going to look if ohms are related to watts, amps and volts. We're hoping to be able to explain these simple things to you in terms you understand. This is not for experts, this is for beginners and learners. Eventually you'll be able to fault find and diagnose electrical problems on your own boat. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. If this has been useful for you, tell us. Sail safe. safe.